Hello everyone! As you already know, adding videos to your slideshows in ProShow is just as easy as adding images. But what happens when your video clips have sound? In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can adjust video clip audio volume and also show you how to use ProShow's audio tools to more seamlessly blend audio enabled video clips with your show soundtrack. First, let's begin by simply adjusting the volume for a video clip. With your video added to the slide list, double click on the slide to open the slide options window. Next, select the video layer you want to adjust and choose the layer settings tab, located just above the preview. You'll find all of the options for adjusting video clips at the bottom of the slide options window, in the video clip settings pane. Remember, the video clip settings pane only appears when you have a video layer selected in the layers list. If you don't see these options, that means you probably selected a layer that does not have a video clip. As an example of what that looks like, watch as I click back and forth between the solid color layer and the video clip layer. You'll find the audio controls at the very bottom of the video clip settings pane. From here, you can adjust the volume or add a fade in or fade out to the audio within your video clip. Use the slider bar for each option or type in a number value. When applying a fade, this value will be the length of the fade in or fade out in seconds. For the volume, this value will be a percentage, with 100% being the maximum volume. If you want to mute the audio completely, just set this value to zero. When working with video clips that have audio, keep in mind that if you adjust the video's speed, the audio will automatically be muted. ProShow does this intentionally so that you can create slow motion or high speed video effects without distorting the audio. Another key item to point out is that you cannot directly increase the volume of audio within a video clip. The loudest the audio can be is 100%. However, there are some ways that you can adjust the soundtrack options for your show to create a better mix between your music and video clip audio. Let's take a look at that next. In this show, we have the video clip of our guitar player again, only now the video has been added to a show that features still images and a soundtrack. In this case, the soundtrack volume is overpowering the audio of my video clip, so I'll need to make some adjustments. Let's double click on the soundtrack bar to open the soundtrack options for the show. When ProShow detects that a slide features any sound that is not part of the soundtrack, such as a voiceover, a sound effect, or the audio within a video clip, it will automatically apply the settings found in the soundtrack during slide sounds pane to the audio file playing at that time. By default, these settings will tell the soundtrack to reduce the soundtrack volume to 50%. To help make the change in volume a little less harsh, ProShow also adds a fade in and fade out time of one tenth of a second. To make sure the audio in my sample video clip is more clearly heard, I'm going to reduce the volume to 10%. Now, because that's such a large change in volume, I'm also going to adjust the fade in and fade out times to two seconds. This will help make the change in volume sound more smooth and natural. When making adjustments to your own shows, often you'll find that it may take some trial and error or a combination of small changes to make your show sound its best. And that's it for today's lesson on how you can adjust your video clip audio volume. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with ProShow.